the Joe Rogan experience. But, Do you think uh, Putin's you know, ever tried DMT? Oh, I think he's too measured for that. Well, I think he would want to know, you know? Maybe. I bet he's done a lot of shit. He does whatever he wants. Yeah, for he's sure. He's bizarre. How many, how many chicks do you think he's got in a stable? Well, I, I, I will tell you this. I truly believe this. I think that he, does, he can just sit there and he has women flock to him. Oh, for sure. They love him. For sure. The best looking woman in the world. He doesn't have to do anything. Right. For that sure. kind of power? Yeah. My, my, my wife was like, he's, he's hot. Whoa. I go, but he's, he's a gangster. She goes, who doesn't like a gangster? Ooh, and Jesus. I was like, oh, geez, I had wow. to walk away. I was like, whoa, it's uncomfortable. Steal your girl. Yeah. You steal take your, your girl. girl. Yeah. Steal your, yeah. your football ring. You hear about that? No. The story about <laughs> fucking uh, Sturgill told me about this. He, uh, who was the football player where Putin stole his ring? Google that. It's uh, the owner of the Patriots. Was it him? <laughs> it wasn't a player? It was just the owner of the Patriots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the guy, that Kraft, yeah, that guy? Yeah. Okay. So he had this uh, Super Bowl ring on. He meets Putin. Putin says, can I hold the ring? You know, and then he takes the ring off, puts it on. It's like, hmm. And he said something like, you could smash someone's face with this ring and laughed and then just walked off with the ring. And they were like, hey, uh, where's the ring? He's like, no. He just stole the ring. There Har it is. You know, Harvey Keitel, really? He just took his ring. What? Yeah. My ring, no. <laughs> That's awesome. This, my ring, I take. So he just decided he wanted it and took it off the guy's hand and was laughing and walked off with it. As the story goes, Kraft handed the diamond-studded ring to Putin as a bit of show and tell. I could kill someone this ring, Putin reportedly <laughs> said, as he fitted to his finger. Then when Kraft held out his hand to get it back, Putin, surrounded by KGB agents, wordlessly slipped the ring into his pocket. Wow. News circulated quickly. The ring was not meant as a gift, which prompted Kraft to issue the statement at the time. At the end of a very productive three-hour business meeting <laughs> with President Putin, I showed the president my most recent Super Bowl ring, Kraft said. Upon seeing the ring, President Putin, a great and knowledgeable sports fan, was clearly taken by its uniqueness. At that point, I decided to give him the ring as a symbol of the respect and admiration that I have for the Russian people and the leadership of President Putin. There you go. A.K.A. I want to live. <laughs> I want to live. I love it. I take this. This my ring no. I, I do I do him. have an admiration. I just think You think he's ever killed anybody with a ring? I uh, bet he has. Probably. I he was a KGB guy for I a bet long he's time. Beaten people to death. But, George W. Bush administration had pressured him at the time to let go of the ring to avoid an international incident. It's hilarious. Wow. In 2013, Kraft reneged and offered some backstory about the incident, alleging alleging that the Bush administration had pressured him at the time to let go of the ring. Wow. It would really be in the best interest of U.S.-Soviet relations if you meant to give the ring as a mm -hmm. present, Kraft recalls the White House saying. I yeah. really didn't want to. I had an emotional tie to the ring. It has my name on it, Kraft said. I didn't want to see it on eBay. But, but maybe Putin mistook. You know, there's a language barrier, so he probably misunderstood. Listen to what he's saying. No, he didn't. Shut the fuck up. There, were you a Russian propaganda agent? There was a pause at the other end of the line, and the White House voice repeated... It would really be in the best interest if you meant to give the ring as a present. Are you calling Putin a thief, bro? No, I'm saying He'll he shut took down your that podcast. ring. He took that ring. He he punked that dude and took his ring. That's not yeah. a thief. He's a gangster. Yeah. He's out there punking well, rings. Well, Harvey Keitel, to drop the name. 124 diamonds. The great Harvey Keitel? Yes. Told me a story. I think it was him. And he said, you know, remember uh, Nikita, uh, what, no, um... What's that? What's that fucking uh, La Femme movie? Nikita? La Femme Nikita. Remember yeah. the actress in the TV show? Yes, I met her once. She was. Friends she went with to my Russia. Friend Candy Alexander. So tell, ask. Okay, so she went to Russia with her boyfriend. Putin liked her. He used to watch the show all the time. I heard this from. I I think it was Harvey Keitel. He kept that dude out into another room and had her out on the balcony talking to her the whole time. And basically, he could, the guy couldn't get back in. And it was very clear that Putin was making a play for La Femme Nikita. Mm. And it's like, you're in my town now. You, you go over there. You Take a seat. I know you came here. Take a seat. Yes. I'm going to take what's mine. And apparently, she was gone. I don't think she did anything, obviously. But, you know. Let's or, pretend or, she did. Right. There it is. There it is. <laughs> and he dug her. Where's the boy? Oh, Jack Nicholson. Boyfriend ain't too. around, bro. <laughs> Boyfriend's not the around. Boyfriend? He's Where's not the boyfriend, there, bro. He's not allowed to be at He's the like, table. Yes, you have legs for days. He was apparently locked out. He was like trying to get in the room, and they're like, sorry, we didn't know. Well, it's kind of interesting when you see a guy run in a country like that. 
in 2019 that he's yeah. c- can run the country in that gangster fashion. It's more interesting that he got that people photo. to what's oh, that? Oh, Sean Penn. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's more interesting to me that he's gotten himself in a position where people would actually vote for him. So it technically he's been democratically elected. 